Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1000. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. This may not be a week where there's many Mike's Daily Podcasts. This may be the only one this week. Well, except for the Super Secret Sunday show that happened yesterday where I was a total Taylor Swift hater. What does she call her haters? Well, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you're a Swifty, right? Mike's. Daily podcast. I guess I'm I'm not a fan of the new stuff, let's just say that. And I am a fan of Lord. But Mike's Daily Podcast. It's F F F episode 1621, 1621, and <coughs> Exactly. I have a cough and I don't know if I'll be off tomorrow because I can't get this show my name is Hasselhoff Hoff refers to a court Mike's daily podcast in German it's an enclosure that's what Hoff means in German if you didn't know so Mike's I'm just not feeling daily it. I guess it's podcast we went out yeah my lovely lady friend LLF now she's my LLP lovely lady person LLP well, anyway, we went, cafe anyway, we went on this lovely walk on Saturday. And, anyway. And she and I had a, just a wonderful time with the wonderful Basil the Boxer. Oh, somebody walked in. Let's see if I can do these voices now. Even though my voice is shot, I'm in, I'm in so much pain. Let's see. Hello, Michael Master. It's Madam Rudebega. What's wrong with your voice? I don't know, something, but... Wow. I did it. Oh, my, my, my. I sh against my better judgment. Are you out of your mind? Look who else walked in. Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino the Bastard. And this is Vice and Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we hear that our good friend Rudy Giuliani is saying the president shouldn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> Because Hillary Clinton didn't talk to anyone. I'm now back to being an activist citizen and part of the resistance. Yeah, Hillary Clinton. Do you know that? But I just want to set the record straight. I see. Okay, thanks for sharing that, you guys. I learned things from you, and that's an important fact. And here's today's podcast picture. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, I got vitality points. Even though I really didn't walk yesterday. Because my LLFP walked Basil the Boxer. And that was so nice of her. I'm starting to realize that maybe I wasn't to blame for everything in the marriage that I, that I was in that failed. That maybe my ex could have done some things. And since I got the blame for everything... That, that kind of sucks. Um, let me rephrase that. That really freaking effing sucks. But whatever. We live, we learn. To quote the late great Alanis Morissette. What? She's still alive? Okay. Good. Because I think Alanis Morissette is a shiny bink beacon of hope for all of us. And... That's pretty much all I have for today's podcast. As I, I was listening on my way into work today, I was listening to a wonderful podcast called On the Media, where we have Bob Garfield. Bob Garfield likes to talk very specifically. Every sentence he speaks has been thought out utterly and clearly and succinctly, and he uses big words that you would never catch me using Bob Garfield. And they discuss things like, well, the fascinating thing they were talking about, I guess that guy that killed some people in his van, that stupid guy in uh, Ontario, Canada, he, well, he was part of this movement that believes, a movement of men 
that believe that women owe them how shall I put this for the delicate listeners in the audience that maybe have kids here kids don't listen to this next word I'm about to say or if I if if you hear this word I'm about to say ask your parents what it is and bug them incessantly because they're the ones that will teach you the things the tools that you need to handle the future sex Anywho, so these guys feel that they're entitled to that women des- have to give it to them, as it were, and which is ridiculous. Women don't owe men anything, and vice versa. Well, wait, do men owe women something? I guess we have to thank our moms, and Mother's Day is coming up, so that's apropos of me saying that, and me saying a French word, apropos. How about this picture of the lovely little uh, Marina in San Leandro and this cool little thing that uh, that keeps the boats from getting wet. They're little boat roofs. Yes, that's podcat pic- see that podcat picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. This area is known as the San Leandro Marina. Which needs a lot of help And it has a lot of homeless there And a lot of drug activity And I'm not a fan of it in, as a whole But I like to go down there a couple times a year It has so much potential Or as some people like to say, potential But it is sad that it has been fallen by the wayside in many ways My point being that that's the podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Oh, let's look at Hey, if you like getting free music, even though some of it actually most of it sucks, there's this thing called kcrw.com. That's a station out of Santa Monica, California. They have a thing. They've been doing this thing for a while called Today's Top Tune. If you look up Today's Top Tune KCRW, you can download a song for the duration of one day for free. And today they have someone named Sam Morrow His third album Member of His He's a member Oh god this description is so Frickin Entitled Speaking of which I hate this The way they put this Sam Morrow's third album Cements his place as a member of LA's Country elite Who wrote that crap Ugh Hey, there's a lovely picture of Jackson Square in the French Quarter of New Orleans, Louisiana, that you can see on Bing. Also, Bing is telling me that Nestle is paying $7.2 billion to sell Starbucks coffee. They're teaming up to create a global coffee alliance. Nestle, of course, makes Nespresso, whom the lovely, 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 lovely uh, Cruise girl Not Tom Cruise's wife The other one Penelope Cruise Sells Nespresso And I think also George Clooney And that short fat guy Sell Nespresso I have a Nespresso machine Yes, because I'm one of those hoity-toities Like that was writing that Awful copy about that Sam Moro guy I have one of those Nespresso machines I'm about to get rid of it So if you want one Let me know at mikesdailypodcast.com Maybe I'll give it to you Actually maybe we'll do a contest Where I'll give it away I have a couple more pods left The thing is the pods are so friggin expensive It used to be $6 for 10 of them And now it's I think up to $10 for 10 of them So each friggin pod is $1 and it's like your, your stuff is not that good I'd rather just go get a real espresso From a real coffee barista person For as you may or may not know For a while I was dating a barista This was back 20 years ago In the year 1996 AD I was living with a barista For four months She had red hair And she smelled of patchouli Her name was Julie And she had two cats 
to which I constantly had allergic reactions to. Uh, I remember my eyes burning every time I came home to the apartment. But we had, I guess, a relationship, I guess, for about four months. And we listened to a lot of Jewel. I remember that. Jewel, Julie, Patchouli. You get the idea. And she was a barista. But she was also someone who, well, let's just say... I funded just about everything. She, her car broke down. I paid for that. She needed to get some something done medically. I paid for that. She had uh, a thing with a thing with a thing. I paid for that. Uh, she needed her eyebrows penciled in, like permanent that permanent stuff on your eyelids. I paid for that. And after a while, I'm like, wait a minute, what? And then she breaks up with me. Oh, I think after that, I I pretty much went, wait a minute, what? But we live, we learn. To quote the late, great Alanis Morissette, Jewel, Sam, Sam, Sarah Bareilles McLaughlin. Isn't that somebody? No? Oh, wait. All those people are still alive? Good. Good. We need people to be alive. I need to be alive to do this podcast. That's why I might have to take the rest of the week off because I'm feeling pretty down today. My energy is at a zero, a low boil. A low, low boil. Who is protecting the East Coast? The Navy is resurrecting a fleet to protect the East Coast and North Atlantic from Russia. Because Russia now seems to be the threat. Instead of North Korea, we're back to the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and 80s when Russia was the threat. And Putin just got sworn in. And he has said that he will protect the country from us. Hmm. That uh, volcano is all in the news. We've been talking about that since Friday. And wait, what happened in 1982 on this date? The Raiders moved to Los Angeles. Do you remember that? That was in 82 on this date. After two years of lawsuits, outspoken, uncompromising team owner Al Davis is finally allowed to move the Raiders from Oakland to Los Angeles. The Raiders will play there until 1995 when they will move back to Oakland. In 2017, they flirt with a return to L.A. before announcing plans to relocate to Las Vegas. And that's pretty much it as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. I had a wonderful dinner with my LLP yesterday. We had burritos. Here's the thing. This is something that tickled me inside so deeply. You can be tickled inside deeply, but we won't go into that. I would like to tell you, though, that we ate at this restaurant called Los Mojajetes. And they call it that because they actually have mojajetes that they bring to your table if you order. Which is an old... I don't know the origin of mojajetes, but I know it is that thing, that big thing that you use to ground corn. You get the mojajetes, which is this big curved out bowl of rock, and then you get another rock and you can smash the hell out of whatever you want. It's wonderful. So this mojajetes, they bring to your table this big one full of delicious meats. So you have to be into meats. And you have to be into chorizo Y delicioso Pollo Y steak I am so sorry Vaca And you have to They don't have any mariachis though No mariachis It's very sad But the people that all work there Are the nicest freaking people It's in Podcaster Valley Los Mocojetes Look it up If you're ever in the East Bay Hey, did you have a good Cinco de Mayo? I did not. Oh, we walked. We walked. That's right. We didn't. I had a margarita last night. <laughs> no, that's not why I'm king like this today. I, it was a pretty much a water. That's one thing. Los Mocajetes used to make delicious margaritas. And the one I had last night was not impressive at all. So that's sad. That's gone by the wayside. But they used to have the best, hugest, most deliciousest. 
margaritas. I hope you had a great Cinco de Mayo. We ended up celebrating Cinco de Mayo yesterday on the Seis de Mayo. And here's one other thing I'd like to point out. You can subscribe to the podcast via email. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but somehow I have 461 subscribers. And I don't know how many of those people are real, but you can subscribe as well. It's at the top of the page when you go to mikesdailypodcast.com. Well, at the top if you're going on a desktop. If you go on your phone, it'll be down past the latest post that I've done. It's right there. My Also, my beautiful LLP made me a hot toddy. Yes, because we were suddenly in the Eisenhower era, and she had to make me a hot toddy, and I really appreciated it. It was to help my throat, which is starting to hurt and get more and more sore by the second. I would like to thank people that I work with for making me sick, particularly one guy that is in the same room that I am in. He comes in, well, I'm in it from 5 till 11, and then he's supposed to be in it from 11 till 7 at night. And I I think he's been sick for the better part of three weeks. So I think I finally got it. And thank you to him. And here's a little bit of a flourish for that wonderful, wonderful man. Thank you for that, for the cold that you gave me. It could could or could not be him. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going around, as they always say. Well, there's a lot of stuff going around. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the I hope you feel better I hope you don't get a cold I hope you get through this week swimmingly If I don't do a podcast Tomorrow or the next day or the next day Please forgive me I'm trying to nurse myself back to health So I can bring you a wonderful super podcast Like this one This one really rocked today's episode Didn't it? Didn't it just transcend everything? Next show, it'll be the wonderful... Well, oh, wow, I'm getting a call. Who could be calling me now at this early time? All right, I gotta go. It'll be uh, Shelly Shuhart Floyd, the floor manager under the engineer. Take care. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.